Hey gang, we're back. We're working some Algebra 1 problems, and today I'm going to show you that it doesn't have to be magic to solve these problems. Yeah. Oh, I dropped my marker. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. We're talking about the distributive property today and how we can use that to solve equations. Now, we've talked about the distributive property before, so if you don't remember that, kind of go back and review about two or three videos back. But let's see if we can do this. The object here are the same. Isolate the variable and solve for the unknown, right? In this one, it's going to be x. Over here, I'm going to solve for y. Oh, there's two y's. And then over here, I'm going to solve for a. And over there, I'm going to solve for x. So here we go. Distributive property in action, okay? So remember, distributive property means if I multiply one thing times something else, or if even if I add, whatever I have in front of the parentheses has to distribute to everything in the parentheses. So the 3 is going to be multiplied by this guy and by that guy, okay? So first step, expand those parentheses. Remember, remember our uh, PEMDAS, right? P, parentheses, that's the first thing you want to address, okay? So let's, let's distribute this. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times negative x is negative 3x, isn't it? equals negative 7. Now let's get this guy all by himself, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add him to the other side so I can get him over there, right? So I'm going to plus 3x here, and I'm going to plus 3x there. This goes to 0, and now I have 3 is equal to minus 7 plus 3x, okay? I got my x over here. Now he's positive. I like for him to be positive, right? So then I'm going to move this guy to this side, so I'm going to add 7 there, add 7 there, that goes to 0. This becomes 10 equals 3x. And so x is equal to, right, 10 over 3, or 10 thirds. Okay? There you go. So we started off with distributing there, right? Let's try it again. Distributive property, there and there. Okay? 7 times y, that's just 7y's. And then 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 plus another 4y's equals 12. Now remember, we just did a video also on grouping, right? Now we can group things, and I want to group things with y's in them together, and then I'll group whole numbers together. So I'm going to put him on the other side, so let's get rid of that guy. Plus 21, plus 21, right? And then 7y plus 4 more y's is how many y's? 11 is equal to... 12 plus 21 is 33, isn't it? Ooh, that's cool. So y is equal to 33 divided by 11, right? I'm going to divide this side by 11, divide that side by 11. This, of course, turns into 1, right? There's an, un there's an invisible 1 in front of that y. 33 divided by 11. How many times does 11 go to 33? Three times. Okay, so y equals 3. There's that one. Let's try it again. Do we have distributive property? Oh, we do, don't we? Look here. Okay, one there, one there. Okay, so I have 2 is equal to a. Okay, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay. And then how much is a minus 6 more a's? That's a positive A minus 6A's. That's going to leave you with minus 5A. Okay? Now, again, I'm going to move this to the other side. So I'm going to add 5A, add 5A, right? That goes to 0. And so now I have 5A plus 2 equals minus 8. Let's move the 2 to the other side. Okay? I'm going to subtract 2 from this side, subtract 2 from that side. That goes to 0. And negative number plus another negative number makes an even bigger negative number, right? So 5a equals negative 10. And so divide by 5, divide by 5. Remember, we have to what we do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So my 5s divide away. And so a equals, what is 10 divided by 5? Negative 10 divided by 5. Negative 2, right? Okay. 
Okay, one more. Now on this one, notice this. There's not a number in front of the parentheses. So hey, we don't multiply anything times that. You know what this one is? We have to distribute this negative. And there is a number there, but you can't see him. He's invisible, right? Think about it like this. Let's make this 3 minus, and let's just put a 1 in front of there, right? There's a, there's a negative 1 in front of that parentheses. And think about distributing that negative 1, and it'll work the exact same way, okay? So this becomes 3, and then that's going to become minus x. And then this guy is going to come negative times a negative gives you a positive. So plus 5 equals to 6. So again, let's move the x over the other side, okay, that goes to 0, 3 plus 5 is how much? 8 is equal to 6 plus x, and to get the x all by himself, we just need to subtract 6 from each side, okay, so that goes to 0, and 8 minus 6 is? All right, are you getting the hang of this? We've done a lot of these kind of equation solvers, but this one had distributive property in it. Let's see what they have in store for us next.